my mother is saying that if you want to go to monk, and then we are, we are going to help you. I was 14 years old and my father took me to India and the Lama, the Holiness accepted me to join the monk. I shaved my head and wore the robes and joined the monk. That's it. We have a nine, years, nine year course sitting here. The first four is for higher secretary, okay. and this, uh, the middle two years is for bachelor's degree in Buddhism. I mean in Buddhism. And the uh, last three years is for master's degree in Buddhism. Most of them are from 18, starting from 18. And they come from different places like uh, in Bhutan, within Bhutan. And we have some students from India also from the Himalayan region. In my room, I have a solar light, so I use that. So because uh, I use the solar light to uh, plan my lesson, how to be taught tomorrow, Just teaching, just teaching, teach and teach and teach. <laughs> In from starting from morning, I do prayer, and after that from eight o'clock, I teach. Basically, teaching means learning also. So uh, we have learned in a student level, in a <coughs> listening level, we have learned, but we we don't have the nice understanding. We didn't we didn't get. So. Uh, when we become a teacher, we have to teach the exact way, the true meaning. So for that, we have to struggle so many times, so many. We have to struggle lots and lots, that's why. So while teaching, we learn. <laughs> Just now I'm teaching the, in Sanskrit it is called Abhidharma. Uh, it's in English it's, it's called the middle way path. Middle way path means if somebody sh shows you anger, if, you somebody, if somebody shows you anger, then you get what? You also get angry. If somebody, somebody deals you nicely and smiling face with deals with smiling face then you get happy your mind mind should not cling to the bad one your mind should should not cling to the good one like that if you avoid this good and bad then you will get the enlightened place <laughs> We have a famous Lama called Jatira Rinpoche. He was an ordinary monk like us. And uh, before he was learning in a school like uh, the monastery. And after that, after finished learning, he went to meditation and now he's a Lama. And he can, uh, he has a good foresight to tell somebody's future like that. Every activity in Buddha Dharma is to transform the mind by making, um, by uh, performing the rituals, by praying, by meditating. So those are the things. There are stages in Buddhism, Buddhist practice. The, uh, the listening stage, and the analyzing state, and the meditation state. And uh, likewise, the who students who are learning the institutes are in learning stage and people who are teaching or staying staying in a retreat is in an analyzing state after that in a meditation state so if you are perfect in meditation then you you can become a lama it's very difficult 
uh, to become a lama or to become a high monk highly we what to say now uh, understand monk we should have to uh, work hard so hard we have to do four years teaching to uh, get a phd so after getting phd uh, i will again serve the monk body and meanwhile i will do some saving also that's not for business or something that i'm going to do but uh, the money i get like uh, uh, the sponsors contribution i will just save it and after 10 years or not more than 15 years i want to um, build one small meditation um, house so that there i will meditate like that as the world is changing to its modern 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 site so Buddhism will also change. Uh, without uh, without changing, there is no history. We can't change the uh, the truth which was taught by Buddha, but the way of practicing will change. Uh, like you people see some monks drive car. Like you people see some monk fly in a plane. Likewise, before there was no monk who is driving a car, and uh, it is it's just depending on, depending on the technology and the changing world. Yeah.